I start in the same way with two turns around the standing part of the climbing line. But this time, I'll pass the rope over the bridge and I'm changing direction now as I add two more turns. Notice with me now that the bridge enters the pressic on the same side that the tail exits. And now the bar of the climbing hitch is vertical. I would still choose to use the figure eight stopper knot, even though this hitch does not roll like the taut line hitch. We believe it's good protocol to use the stopper knot. Now the pressic hitch tied with a tail piece, as I put my, my weight into the climbing hitch, notice I'm loading only one part of the rope. The other part is relaxed here. These two turns will tighten up, can tighten up a great deal after I've had my weight into my climbing line. And I may even have to get my weight off of it in order to get it to move. Now, some of the things that we're looking for in a climbing hitch is that it will move in both directions when we want it to so that we can climb and use it for work positioning, but at the same time that it not tighten up too much. That's right, Ken. Now, I've also tied a prussic hitch here, but my system's a little different. Because I've got an eye splice on both ends of my tail, and the eye splice could be a termination knot, I can now attach the other end back into my carabiner. Now, as I sit into the prussic knot, notice that, and you can see there, that I must make sure that I've tied and dressed and set the knot properly. Notice here that both parts of the line are loading. Now, when we saw Ken using the taut line hitch, if he needed to tend the knot, he would pull on the tail. With the prussic, if we need to tension up the knot, we would use the bar and push the bar away from us. If we needed to loosen up the knot so we could slide it down the line, I would use my thumb here to break the bar and then it will slide easier. Now, I can also form a closed prussic if I were to utilize a endless loop of line like I've got here. I can just take this and pass it through itself once, twice, and I can dress the knot. And you can see that these two are very similar. I can sit down into this, and again, setting it, make sure it'll hold for me. It works quite nicely. We did talk about some of the limitations of the Prusik when only one part of the line is loaded even with this system, sometimes the prussic knot can load very tightly, and it can be hard to break the knot if I want to descend on it. However, it is a good, secure climbing hitch.